Gua Tower is constructed of reinforced concrete. The primary vertical load of the building is placed on a diver tube of canted round columns, forming an egg-shaped structural frame at the perimeter of circular floor plan. Also, Dua Tower adopts the exterior net tube composed of RC crossing diagrid columns and floor ring beams as a main structure. It takes 75% of lateral wind bracing loads. These 8-floor modular interwoven diagonal reinforced columns take up the primary load of the building with further structural support provided by the central core and ring beams at every level. This diagonal structure allows for 3-meter floor heights and open floor space. The steel and glass dome at the top of the building has a crisscrossing grid steel structure distinct from a diagonal columns. Looking further at the diagrid and internal core, the internal core is a continuous RC core from base to level 44. The perimeter diagrid consists of the circular RC column. There are two cores connected by equivalent sections with surrounding elements and bracing around the slab. It is common for the diagrid and ring to have the same section and to be fixed and connected. First, the primary, or female piles, are drilled into the required depth. Generally, these piles are constructed in a hit and miss sequence in order to ensure the adjacent piles are not damaged by drilling nearby until the low strength concrete is set. After allowing sufficient curing time, the remaining primary piles are constructed. Careful attention must be given to the concrete mix used in primary piles to ensure it has sufficient strength when the secondary piles are cut into it but gain strength after that with continued curing. Once sufficient primary piles have been constructed, the secondary or male piles are then drilled between adjacent primary piles. The secondary pile is cut into or secanted into the two primary piles either side of it. By careful control of the verticality tolerance when drilling, it's ensured that the overlap between primary and secondary piles remains intact, down to the other side of the deepest excavation level. Subsequent secondary piles are then constructed, forming a continuous retaining wall. Secant pile walls are often used for basement construction, or to form cuttings into existing slopes or embankments. When the area inside of the wall is excavated, temporary support in the form of whalers and struts, or anchors, are often used. <laughs> 